Welcome to my playthrough of XCOM Many Moves in Long War. Where I left it last time, I just finished a terror mission, and now on to a, oh, a raider that I shot down, UFO 117. And choose that officer, that sniper. It's a raider, it doesn't have to be that difficult. Well, we'll choose that scout. And just for the sheer heck of it, we're going to choose that scout too. We'll take Gary McAllister along for a jaunt. And we'll take Scott Fitz Kieran Scott Fitzgerald along for a jaunt. Close to promotion. Yeah, not you lot down there. This is a raider, not an abduction or a relatively easy mission, so. I can't take any more gunners because I've only got two auto lasers. So we'll take a couple of infantry that we could do with gaining some experience to make it to Master Sergeant. Or to make it on their way to, to Master Sergeant. Now, whilst I currently do have pulse lasers, Oh, sorry, not pulse lasers, plasma rifles. I don't have enough plasma rifles for everybody. Which is a tad unfortunate. But while I think about it, I will give them to my two infantry. As they get two shots every turn. Only one of my two scouts will get a plasma rifle. Unfortunate. But it's not too big a problem because pretty soon I will get some more. Then all my scouts, my actually my scouts get to carry reflex cannons when I get enough of those. But they will probably carry plasma rifles during the interim. I give him the auto laser, not a laser rifle. Just like it would be good if I gave you an auto laser. Oh, you do have an auto laser. I think I'm giving you a laser rifle. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's everybody. Off we go! Nice short flight. Dropship has arrived. Helps if I click on begin assault rather than just stare at the screen. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. The downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. We'll need to move in and secure the scene before people start panicking. Whatever you say, Bradford. Operation Glass Mist. Now there is one problem with this map. This is Big Sky. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. And that problem is, occasionally you get an alien up on the roof of this thing. Well, occasionally you get the aliens up on the roof of UFOs in various missions. However, in this one, they, they, if they get an alien up there, they frequently don't bother coming down. They just, they sit up there and they are an annoyance. Put it politely. I'm on the move. Okay, you. Go like up a there. I don't find. S well, it's not a sniper, is it? No, I had a second sniper. I haven't moved him already, have I? Did I bring a second sniper with me or did I move him? Am I really that stupid? Don't answer that. That's a scout. Maybe I didn't bring a second sniper with me. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Roger that. 
entirely possible I'm losing my mind. It's not like it's is ever that effective to start with. You read my mind. No, I didn't, mate. I did not read your mind. Mind reading, I would say, is an art, but it's not. It's a con. Corriendo. There are no such thing as mind readers. There are those that can read micro expressions, etc. But, right, you go up there, and you provide cover for the sniper that sat up there. Okay, I didn't say go and discover the enemy. That was not intentional. Well. Affirmative. Okay. Give you some cover. And now, now I've discovered the enemy, I might as well move some people to go deal with it. So I guess I get to split the party into. Ooh. Big scary mech toy thinks, thinks he's gonna scare me. I'm under fire. This is Jessica Doc Hamilton you're talking about. She doesn't scare, and she's got a plasma weapon. Not that she did a very good job with it, but she's got one. Heading out. Eyes on target. Oh darn. You weren't meant to run into people at this point. Uh, okay. Yep. Please hit him. Nicely done. I know I'm carrying a couple of arcs for us, but I have absolutely no intention of trying to capture people. Do something and come down. That's not strictly true. If there's, if there's an easy opportunity to capture people, suddenly turns up, then yes, I will take it. But unless an easy opportunity turns up, we certainly do. Okay, all of a sudden I'm. All of a sudden I'm having a little bit of trouble over that direction. Ah, ah stop whining. It's not a bad one. You didn't get badly hurt. Can I get some help? Yes, me old cocky, you can get some help. If that's what you really want. If you're really not man enough to deal with them by yourself. Moving. We can give you some help. We can even run this guy through here with, the, with his lightning reflexes. It's raining death over here! Oh, it's go time! Yes. Okay, they are everywhere. Incoming over here! Right. right. Let's shoot this guy in the back. Got him. Okay. We got down that. Yep, you'll do. Of course, you don't have the in the zone perk, so. That'll do. Shoot the mentoid. Okay. Me dirijo allí. Oh, gosh darn it. He was not meant to be there. Yeah, 
Let's see if I get hurt, I get hurt. Yeah, you're supposedly still suppressed. You should be able to hit. You should be able to hit. Ah, one mech toy down. I'm rolling. Well, that wasn't a bad shot. <laughs> Well, you have missed that How badly damaged are these people gonna get or how badly strangled are they gonna get before I can get the rest of the squad out of the UFO to come to their to come to their aid. I shouldn't say come to the rescue because they're not they're not dying at the moment. Whoa. Although I am surprised by that fact. There's a sectoid around there somewhere giving him his extra armor. Yes, and that squid that just disappeared is the one that worried me. Big nasty squid. We're shifting the attack. It's true, they missed. They're not trying to flank us, they are flanking us. Yes, rather than give it a a thought out, decent strategic plan with looking for cover and giving each other fire support and to being methodical. No, I just decided, oh what the heck, I'll do it this way. Quite naturally. Doesn't quite work out as one might have hoped. He's still alive. Yes, and there's meld out there. I don't care about the meld that's out there. Right, shoot, yeah, shoot him would be good. Okay. Copy that. Yes, you have a shot two things. The drone. Or that big nasty thing. Okay, let's move you to somewhere yes, where you've got cover. Oh, I see if I can shoot my way through your armor. Probably won't, but even if I do, I'll immediately go back. 81, 81. I'm a shooting man that's suppressing me. Get off. I don't actually manage to shoot my way through it. Okay, who do you want to shoot? Yep, sure, shoot that. Bye bye. I'm on the move. Well, that definitely stung you. Even if that sectoid puts your armor back, you're still going to be hurt. Yep. Okay, he's over by that corner of the UFO. We can deal with him. Really death over here. Don't be melodramatic, you little. Yeah, and you're a Scotsman. You're meant to be hard. You're meant to be tough. What are you got? What was his name? Somebody McNeesey? 
one of the SAS that stormed the, the Iranian the embassy. Damn, that's close. Yeah. He's the archetypical tough Scotsman. And you're there with its raining death over here when a sectoid shoots a pistol at you. It's really not that impressive as showing how tough you can be. No longer a threat. Oh, shoot him. That worked. You reload. You reload. And you go up to there, find this sectoid and shoot him in the head. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, that might have been a little bit of a mistake. I was only expecting the one. No longer a threat. There's a nice amount of damage to do to anything. 16 damage, even if it is only a sector. Oh, there's still a squid left. Wasn't aware of him. Yes. Oh. Go away with the meld. Pick it up at the end of the mission. Heading for that location. You are Bye deceased. Bye. Of course, you don't have any ammunition. Stop giving me these guys. Let me go. Good, you've got ammunition. Oh darn. I thought that was going to be the end of it. Oh well. Okay, there was a nice two or three second pregnant pause there. Any of you want to tell me where the opposition happens to be? I'm on the move. Okay, there's a stalker around somewhere. I've got a lot of heat on me. I ran right past him. I'm ready. I think he's I'm on the move. Oh good, I can see him from that angle. Taken care of. Okay, managed to get kill 19 people. Or 19 aliens of various descriptions. And I think as I mentioned in the previous episode, thanks to the joys of plasma weaponry, I'm now doing missions like that in under 20, or just under 20 minutes, including the intro time. Whereas before, I might have had to split that one over two episodes. But I will immediately go to the repair bay and repair the things, otherwise I tend to forget. And as I've still got a few seconds, I'll see how far forward I can get towards the covert op and stuff. Yes, I'll do that. I've got a lot of power sources. Contact detected. Let's scramble one of my remaining interceptors. Let's scramble Zeke. Okay, I know this episode might now go, might go a minute over 20 minutes. Bangs out. Enhanced target. Motion target now.
Well, I've got 72 hours to do that. Well, there's a covert operation that happens in less than 24. This. Oh, it's a four man, so. Okay. Not now. Oh, I've got 48 hours to do that as well. Interesting. Well, actually, as I'm already about a minute over, if I've got 48 hours to do that, I thought I'd scan it on to get that research completed. I don't read the paragraphs in the blue on the right, at least not out loud. But the plasma sniper rifle is available for manufacture, and the reflex rifle is available for manufacture. Plasma sniper rifle. By modifying our current power systems to hold a greater charge, we developed a plasma sniper rifle cap capable of delivering an extremely powerful shot that will greatly increase the odds of inflicting critical damage to hostile targets. Reflex rifle. A medium range plasma rifle usable, usable by our scouts and snipers. Yeah, never going to use that. Okay, well, I'm going to do that just to get it off I the list. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, because it's a one-day event. I'm just checking, I was building facilities. Okay, three days, three days, and three days. I'm going to wait the... I'm going to scan it on to, hopefully... I can get the research done. That was kind of quick. Um, effectively, I get 20% more alloys and Illyrium from shooting down destroyers. And now I will see what is advanced body armor, which I can actually do with, is four days, five days, ten days. I want that one. I want those two. Seven days. Four days, four days, five days, five days, ten days, and four days. That's five days. Oh, we'll go with that. it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you down the road.